Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert from grams to molecules. This would be grams of a compound, a molecular compound, to molecules. Remember, the smallest part of an, of an element is an atom. The smallest part of a compound is a molecule. So let's start this problem. Okay, We've got given to us 0 0.36 grams of C9H8 O4 and that lo and behold is aspirin and we'll put that over one now the only problem is next is <laughs> we need the molar mass of aspirin now anytime that they mention grams you're gonna have to find molar mass okay no matter what if they mention grams you're gonna have to find molar mass of it and sure lo and behold they did here so let's make a grocery list that's why I like comment uh, you've got carbon You've got hydrogen and you've got oxygen. Now you've got nine carbons, you've got eight hydrogens, and you've got four oxygens. Carbon is 12.01. Oxygen, excuse me, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and oxygen is 16.00. I'm getting all these off of our periodic table. Okay, hydrogen is 1.01, uh, .01. carbon is 12.01. .01 and oxygen is 16.00 okay now let's do this okay this is going to be 108.09 this one is 8.08 .08, and this one is 64 okay add this up there's 17 there there's 8 and 8 so that's 16 and then 4 is 20 0 2 so I'm counting 180.17 grams of C9H8O4. So you, no matter what, you can't get away from calculating molar mass. So make sure you learn it. Okay, so that's 180.17 grams of C9H8O4. Now, up above here, I'm going to write one mole of aspirin because I did the molar mass. I always do it this way. I do it three steps. I'm sorry. I'm stubborn. Okay, just because I know it, you need to be able to understand the differences. So I don't like using the 6.02 number really early. Down here will be one mo of C9H8O4. And up here is going to be the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And this time we're dealing with molecules, which is small, so we'll write molecules molecules, squeeze it in there, of C9H8O4. And after that, you're pretty much done. So equals. Now, let's try to fit this uh, onto the calculator, <laughs> since it's kind of long. We've got um, point, uh, 36 times 6.02. Now remember, to do the times 10 thing, you need to hit second comma and that was second and the comma is up above the seven that gives us this little e thing here so that's to the 23rd you hit enter gives us this number for the numerator now we've only got one number in the denominator so i'm going to divide that number notice we get a and s divided by and we'll type in a hundred and eighty point seventeen okay you see that hundred eighty point seventeen the point three six times six point two Okay, and equals, and I get this for an answer. Okay, now I only need to keep technically two sig figs because I had two numbers that's significant in the problem. So, um, but for humor, I'll write down all these so we can look at it again. Make sure you know how to write it. Um, this is what's on the paper. We've got a, uh, excuse me, on the calculator, we've got 1.202. Uh, 863962 E21. Now I only need two sig figs. I'm going to keep the 1.2. So that's 1.2. The, this E21 will be times 10 to the 21st, and it's going to be molecules of C9H8O4. And lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you go from grams to molecules. And once again, another review on uh, molar mass. So make sure you know that. Okay. All right, guys. Hope this helped.